Hi guys. I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. A brand contacted me and asked if I wanted to get a blowout. You know that I am a curly girl. I rarely put heat to my hair, or at least I try not to. But I have been fiending for some straight hair recently. So when they reached out and offered, I was like, do you guys have someone that specializes in natural curly curls? And they said yes, so I'm putting my faith and trust in them that everything will be okay. I'm actually very excited because one of my friends went to this salon recently, but she got her curly hair treated. She went there and worked with a stylist and she's been telling me about her for a while now. And when she went in and got her hair cut, it looked absolutely amazing. So I'm hoping that I will just by luck get matched with that same person, but who knows what will happen. So yeah, let's go ahead and head to the salon now. I'll see you guys soon. Hey guys, as you can tell, I am now back home and boy, do I have a story for you. Like I said, before confirming, I asked if they had someone who specialized in curly and natural hair and they assured me that there would be somebody there. Today, when I walked into the salon, I was greeted by the rep that was there from the hair care line. And then I was told to just, you know, have a seat until they finished up the last two people that they were working with. Someone then came over to me who I believe was actually the owner of the salon. And he said, I noticed your hair is curly and I know that we're supposed to be doing blowouts, but do you actually mind if we style your hair curly? I thought I was gonna walk out of that salon with a silk press that was just amazing. I know that curly hair can be very challenging for people, being 100% honest. If you're not, if the stylist doesn't actually specialize in doing natural curly hair, working with my type of hair, I'm afraid of heat damage. I would rather them not put heat on my hair. So I said we can go with the curly style instead of the blowout. So I am taken back to the bowl and there are two girls that I guess we're gonna be doing my hair and they start washing my hair. You guys know when you go to the hair salon, that's like the one thing that you're really looking forward to is someone that's just gonna scratch your scalp. I was really looking forward to that and that's not what I got. It was like a quick one-two kind of suds up, subs up, and then they started putting on a deep conditioner and then started to work the product through my hair. However, instead of finger detangling or using like a wide tooth comb, they just went straight in with this brush and started brushing through my hair. Mind you, it did have the conditioner on it, so there was some slip. And they were taking it in sections, but I could tell that this is going to go completely south. And I couldn't have been more right. <laughs> As they're detangling through my hair, I hear a conversation between the two of them trying to figure out what you're doing. Mind you, and one of them even ended up mentioning that this was her first time styling curly textured hair, which did not make me feel any better. <laughs> and then the owner of the salon ends up walking over and then that's when one of them says, can you call so-and-so? Gets on the phone and calls the stylist who I'm assuming actually specializes in doing natural curly hair, puts it on speakerphone and starts talking to her, telling her that they have someone in the chair right now and then says that the girls don't know what they're supposed to do after they wash my hair. Oh, it's just a very uncomfortable situation. Like I hear her giving them all the step-by-step -step instructions on how to do a wash and go. Sorry guys, my camera cut off. So I sit down in the chair after they rinse out the conditioner and they started sectioning my hair, misted my hair down to make sure that it was wet. And instead of layering the products, like putting on the cream and then putting the gel on top, they mixed the two products together in their hands and then used that same brush to then brush through the hair. It was a valiant effort at one point have to like actually tell them if you coil it around your finger like this and you do it in bigger sections the curls will clump together layer the products one on top of the other they were very receptive to feedback i should say that like they definitely said to me if we're doing anything wrong please let us know or if there's certain things that you like to do when you're doing your own hair please let us know which was nice but you go to a salon to relax you know what i mean like it's a very exciting experience you're going there to be pampered and then you think that you're going to be walking out of a salon with a brand new do which just like adds to your confidence you know what I mean? Like I had a whole day planned, you guys. And I thought I was gonna go take pictures. I brought my whole tripod with me. I'm gonna make some content. I brought my camera, so I was vlogging. I was so excited about it. Like I really thought I was about to walk out of there with a new kind of aura. You know what I mean? None of that happened. They finished putting all the products in my hair. The top 
just looked very frizzy. And after they finished like putting all the product in, they were just like, okay, you're done. Do you want to take some cute videos? And I was just like, my hair is still soaking wet though. But then they were like, okay, do you want to sit under the dryer for a little bit? And I was just like, no. I've never sat under a hooded dryer with like a curly style before, so I just feel like that's a bad idea. They were like, totally, we don't have to do that. We can diffuse your hair. I saw that they had the Dyson diffuser. I've never gotten to use one before. I've heard amazing things about it. I watched tons and tons of videos of curly girls who do diffuse their hair and their results are always popping. So I was definitely looking forward to that. I was like, this is gonna be like the redeeming moment. You know, I'm gonna walk out with some bouncy, fluffy curls. Needless to say, that did not happen. It actually looks a lot better now just because I feel like it's been a little bit of time and I've been like fluffing my hair. There's white like stuff coming out of my hair because of the cast that happens when you mix gel with certain products. Hey guys, it is the next day. Now that I've had a day to sleep and like really think about it, not to say that I overreacted because my experience was definitely my experience and it wasn't the most pleasant. In terms of the professionalism, that definitely was not what I envisioned for myself when I go to a salon. That wasn't the most pleasant thing, but I will say that it is the next day. Like I said, I did have to actually go in and fix a few pieces on the top that were super frizzy. But overall, my hair actually does look really good. Definitely super defined, but they put entirely too much product in my hair to the point where if I just like run my fingers through it, I don't think you're gonna be able to see it on camera, but the, the product, you can actually see those like white specks. That's the product shaking off of my hair because they put so much on it. So. That's definitely a downside and I also know that they use too much product because my scalp is irritated because they didn't fully rinse out like the conditioning mask or the shampoo probably and so that's like sitting on top of my scalp and then there's like product added on top of it. I feel like I have like an appointment almost every day this week of something for me just like to do for myself. So far we've gotten our hair done, we know how that experience was. Ooh, yeah.